Yellow duckies. I'm Viola, and welcome to my second episode. Yay! Alright, what we're going to be doing today... Um... Mainly because I really didn't get any uh, replies as far as mods to be used, or anything like that. And I don't mind that. I mean, you guys don't know me, I don't know you really, so... I need to block that. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Okay, guys. <laughs> so, what I figured oh, today would be would be a good day to go mining. There we go. Um... to get some equipment, some iron, some coal, and I figured, you know, while I'm doing that, ooh, hey, interesting, um, while I'm doing that, I can talk to you guys a little bit about myself and my likes, and, and that'll give you a better idea of what this series is going to be, as far as what thing, what mods I might decide to add. Sorry, I'm just walking around. I'm just walking around while I'm talking. <laughs> um, oh, but first, one of the first things that I'm going to do, and this may seem a little bit weird to some of you, but it needs to be done. I am going to start a chest room under this little mini house. Now, admittedly, th I could go farther in, I could find a really nice spot, and I could make a really big house, but um, I want... I don't really want to do that until until I have mods in because if I don't have mods in um, I'm going to have issues finding new things when I do start to add them in because if you've ever played you know for a fact that they really, um, can I even, yes, I can, okay. They really don't start showing up until you open up new chunks. So, this is a bad thing I'm doing. This is a very bad thing I'm doing. Never follow this- don't follow this example, okay guys? Never, ever, mine right under yourself. Cause, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Sorry. Um. But yeah, I figured, you know, I'd start a chest room. And then I would go on a little mining trip and I talk to you guys a bit. So, I kind of told you a little bit about how I started gaming. Um, let's dig into that a little bit more. I actually started gaming on an original PlayStation. Like, original, original. Not. PS Vita or whatever that is. I actually am not up to date on that, really. I'm not sure. Is that the new version? I don't know. Either way, um, but yeah, I actually started playing back on the original shortly after it was released. Um, it was not my original, technically. It was my sister's, but 
Um, my sister is older than me, and despite the fact that she supposedly got it for herself, uh, she never really spent a whole lot of time on it. Um, mainly because by the time that she had gotten it, really, she was already, uh, in high school, and she had a part-time job, so... You know, I really ended up playing it mainly by myself after school. This is big enough for now. And, uh, yeah, it just, it gave me something to do. No, that's not what I want to do. Oh, yeah, I need to go in and do that on the workbench. I should have done that before. As I said, guys, it's most likely going to be one of those days right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. Yes, he says I want to do that. Okay. Yeah, definitely one of those days, guys. But this is a start. Start is better than nothing. Oh, by the way, if you notice anything different right now, I am using a texture pack for this episode. Um, I may decide to like change it out every episode. It really depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, I am currently using Smooth Operator. And that is made by 50 Walrus. I will make sure to put a link in the description in case you guys decide that you guys want to check it out for yourselves. I feel like it's a really good... I box myself in here. I feel like it's a really good uh, texture pack that actually sticks to the original um, build of the game without overdoing it. But it looks honestly amazing by comparison. <laughs> really. Um, so yeah. I just figured I'd start checking them out. Normally what I would have used uh, would have been Zigzag, but Zigzag is currently not up to date for the Java version, and that's what I have. So I have to wait to use Zigzag regularly until it is up to date. Really? Sun's already going down? I haven't even gotten to digging a hole! Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. We'll get there. We will. one more chest and that way I have two double chests to put down here. Here we go. Oh gosh, it's dark. I gotta get back up. This is not good. I don't have anything. Oh, turn it. I don't have any coal yet so I can't make myself any there's only glass on there. Though I don't know if there's I don't know if there's even a use for diorite still. Or if there ever was, or if there's going to be. I don't know. Anyway, it's really dark down here. Let's go back up and go to bed. Yes, Madam Rose, do you have something to say? Rose says hi, everyone. Good morning. Okay. Now that we have done that and we have chests down there, I am going to start digging just down over here. Because I figure, you know, I've got this weird little path that now leads to the ocean because I dug out all the sand over here. Is that a fish? 
Um, wait. One second. One second, guys. I... Uh, I should make myself a sword. Wait, did I put my... No, my cobblestone's right there. Okay. That's something I should have made earlier. Anyway. Yes, Rose. Were you... Was that what you were trying to say? That I needed to make a sword? Yeah, you would know better than me. Madam Rose the Gaming Cat. Oh, no. That's... <laughs> uh, let me get how many do I need for it? I think. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe five. Hopefully, it's five to make a boat. As I said, guys, I really haven't, um, gotten to sorry I'm having to pet Rose a little hey honey hi yes I know I'm talking so you want to talk there we go um as I said I really haven't explored much of the new stuff in Minecraft, so I'm not sure what all is really in here anymore, but that looks like it is. That's a fish. Oh my gosh, you are a fish. You are a fish. Wait, wait, come back. Come back. Uh, what the lag much okay wait whoa whoa K can I kill you will you drop me fish you're running away okay you're scared there's so much going oh my gosh I'm dying I'm dying <laughs> I'm drowning I, I, sorry guys, I just got really, what are you? Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I'm okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get back in our boat and go back to land and we'll put the boat away and we'll start actually doing what we meant to do, which was get ourselves make ourselves a mine but yeah wow fish or maybe i should keep the boat with me just in case yeah i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna keep the boat with me just in case i run into anything also i should eat my sweet babies Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to start digging down here and kind of staircase my way down. Uh, you may notice that I actually make myself a little bit of extra headspace. Uh, I do have a bad tendency. Oh my gosh, it's getting dark already. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't think I can. I may just have to go looking for an actual cave because I cannot see a thing right now. I need coal! <sighs> okay. Well, Let's go looking for some coal, see if maybe we can find some exposed coal somewhere. Um, 
without getting ourselves killed in dark wood. What? Okay, tree, you do you. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Honestly, that's how it generated, okay? I didn't do that, guys. I have not even been over this way. Oh, look. Here's some more sheep if I ever need another bed. Let's get some more berries I guess for now I'm just going to be eating a lot of berries though they don't keep long it doesn't seem like oh, oh. not what I meant to do but good to know that's how I can make myself more berries <laughs> Just right click on the ground. All right. Um, we got to keep in mind. Okay. If we just stick to the coast, possibly. Oh, it looks like maybe over there. Um, but yeah, if we just stick to the coast, maybe we'll be able to find some exposed coal on a mountainside, and I won't go too far inland. I'm just going to get these berries. Because as I said, I'm still looking to possibly add mods. And I want to be able to find the stuff fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, talking more about myself. That's what I initially started this out with. Um, and let's see, I was talking about, ooh, cave side. I was talking about, ah, cool! Um, how I started gaming. I started gaming originally, um, with little games like, um, oh gosh, what was it? Just little racing games and, and bubble popping games. The standard, you know, casual sort of stuff. Let's put this up here. I don't know why I got another spruce sapling, but now I can make myself some torches! Yay! Alright. Um, what I, the very first game I really, really, really got into was, uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VII, to be exact. Um, and I just really fell in love with it. the story, the characters, um, the detail. And storytelling from that point on kind of became one of my major, major points in finding games to play. Um, after that, I started renting from Blockbuster regularly. Sun's already going down again. Um, let's go ahead and actually plant myself some berries. Yeah. And you know what? We are not going to go to bed yet. We are going to just go and continue staircasing down here. Because um, now we have torches. And I rented, um, let's see, Harvest Moon. I can't remember which 
Harvest Moon it was, but it was one of the first Harvest Moons that was available over here, and it was just the first time I had really experienced anything like that. And it really sucked me in. I, I admit I may have um, put a little too much time in to the game. Uh, my grades did dip because of it. But at the same time, there were other things that were going on that caused them to dip. Like, it wasn't, oh, just gaming caused me to lose my grade point or whatever. I had other things that were going on in my life that caused me to... To lose track of of just about everything um, but it was it was an escape it was an escape from normal life which I wouldn't say I necessarily had a problem with but It wasn't exactly something I was fully in invested in. <laughs> if that's understandable, really. Um, and then, shortly after I got into all of that, um, for one thing, there was the release of the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. Actually, you, want, you know what? I was wrong. Originally, when I originally started playing games, I played Game Boy. Yeah. The original Game Boy. No Game Boy Advanced here. In fact, I never actually had a Game Boy Advanced. Um, and I never have since. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Rose is very talkative today. Give me, like... Three seconds and I will get her to be quiet. I just need to scratch her chin a bit. It's only because I'm talking. I think last time I got off easy recording because uh, she was taking a nap. <laughs> but being as she only has the three legs, she really can't like, jump around and, and distract me that way. This is how she distracts me and gets attention. Let's see if I run into any bad guys. I gotta go make myself new. X, I don't hear anybody. I'm gonna go to bed real quick. I'm scared. <laughs> no, it's okay, Rose. I'm not scared for real. Yeah, I know. Um. Go ahead and put the book away. Uh. Yeah, I was wrong. My first time, my first games and everything were actually on the Game Boy. Tetris, um, Tom and Jerry, that sort of stuff. And then, then my sister got a 
uh, original PlayStation, and I got into... Why did I come back down here? I don't have a pickaxe. Um, then I got into the original PlayStation, and, um, oh gosh, it's like our version of Bubble Bobble. I can't remember. Bust a Move. That was it. Bust a Move. Um, that was one of the first games that I ever got. And then Final Fantasy VII. Um, and after that, Harvest Moon. Uh, so a lot of it has been, you know, since then, it's been... Uh, simulation, uh, crafting games, uh, story games, um, turn-based RPG style, a few isometric, really medieval stories. I'm really, really into, uh, Spiderweb Software. I think it was Spiderweb Software. Um... But those style games, where you get to choose your path, whether you're evil, or you're good, or you're somewhere in between, you know? Um, that also includes uh, the Dragon Age, and um, uh, Mass Effect style games. Let's just make myself a couple of these. I'm probably going to need them. Uh, no, games where you become a part of the story or you become invested enough in characters that you become a part of the story. Um, more recently, it's been um, things like, uh, uh Final Fantasy, uh, 14. And I'll play that with a few friends and, um, the captain, who may or may not decide at some point, depending on how things go, he may or may not join me. I may have an episode with him, if he wants to, um, but it would mean quite a lot of work and we'd probably have to get a server and set that all up. It depends how things go. But we'll see, you know? Um, but personally, me, I am into... Uh, fantasy, medieval, you know, uh, music, fun, farming, and particularly things that, in, in Minecraft in particular, things that would fit in with the world, but not overdo it. Like, I have seen uh, someone work with, like, industrial craft and that sort of stuff. And while it looks like an interesting mod, I'm not sure I would really want to go that route myself. Because it's just not something that I'm really super into, you know? But maybe, maybe like some of the magic crafts I could do, or something along those lines. There's a lot of things out there. It's just a matter of figuring it out. And what I wanted with this series in particular was uh, for us to build a world together. And that's why I asked for you guys to suggest... Let's check. Um, to suggest mods that you guys might be interested in because I want you guys to be interested in this world that we're building. Um, wait, was there some above? No, that was just smoke. Okay. Um, 
but yeah, I, I want you guys to be interested. I want you guys to be invested. I want you guys to feel like this isn't only my world. This is your world too. Because in the end, it will be. As a community, if we build this world together, then it will go places. It will grow. It may only be me in it, but maybe we'll figure out a way of adding you guys too. Eventually, this could be a full world. Well, I mean, guys, it looks like I have spent a lot of time rambling and digging, and I really haven't gotten much past coal. But, coal was what we needed. We needed coal. So, I think for now I am going to sign off. So, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay up to date on my videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye.